Hey there, and welcome back to day five of 31 Days of Horror. Today, we're diving in to the 2022 film, Barbarian, a movie that grabs traditional horror by the throat and yeets it out the window, because this film is anything but typical. So what makes Barbarian stand out? Well, for starters, you think you know what's happening, and then the movie just punches you in the face with a nope. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I mean, we're talking about a plot that takes twists like a damn pretzel. It starts off with Tess, your classic I just booked an Airbnb and something's not quite white scenario. You think, ah, uh, great, another creepy house, bad decision making, blah, blah, blah. But hold on, Barbarian doesn't just follow that road, it swerves right off into chaos. I'm not going to spoil anything because this is one of those flicks where knowing too much ruins the gut punches. But let's just say what you think is the main issue in the first act is not the real nightmare. It's like pulling back the curtain only to find another freaking curtain. And then behind that, well, you'll find out. The way this movie plays with tension is just a chef's kiss. It builds you up, makes you sweat, and then slams you into a wall when you least expect it. The pacing is relentless, and just when you think you can breathe again, BAM! It's on you again like a horror movie version of a sucker punch. And the gore? Yeah, it's there. But Barbarian isn't about cheap scares or buckets of blood. It's the psychological gut-wrenching moments that will have you side-eyeing your own living room like, okay, is something hiding in here? Justin Long's character? Oh man, this guy is the ultimate horror wildcard. He walks in and you're like, what is this dude even doing here? But it works. The film brings together characters who shouldn't make sense, yet somehow it all ties it into a wild ride of paranoia, claustrophobia, and pure what-the-fuck moments. And that's where Barbarian really shines. It's different. It doesn't spoon feed you every trope and expect you to be scared just because you know the formula. It hates the formula. The movie comes in and says, forget what you think you know about horror. We're doing things our way. And that way, well, it'll mess you up in the best way possible. So if you're looking for a horror flick that throws a rule book in the trash and isn't afraid to rip you out of your comfort zone, Barbarian is your film. Just maybe avoid booking any airbnbs for a while sorry travelocity gnome thanks again for watching and be sure to check us out tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 days of horror series